This episode of Gamerheads is brought to you by Magic Mind, the healthy energy drink that will help you take your creativity to a new level. Hi, I'm Celia Schilling from Yacht Club Games. Hey, this is James from Mega Cat Studios. Hey, this is Matt, a.k.a. Stormageddon, from Reignite, Screen Snark, and the Fun and Games podcast. This is Stephanie from the Boss Rush podcast and the Boss Rush Network. Hey, this, this is Mark, Mark and Keon from Bonta Affold. Hey, this is Sebastian with the ProNerdReport.com and the Single Player Experience podcast. Hi, this is Chris. Mike. And Garrett from Daylight Basement Studio. Hey, this is Baron J67 from Level 1 Gaming. Hey, this is Todd Mitchell from Code Right Play. Salutations. This is Mike Carroll from Stroll Art. Hey, this is Jeff Moonen from Fun and Games Podcast. Hey, this is Patrick from the Backlog Odyssey. Hey, this is Rune from Runic Codes. Hi, this is Andrew from Spalato Bros. Hi, everyone. Jill Grote here from The Indie Informer. Hey, this is Brimstone, and you're listening to Roger Reichardt on the Gamer Heads Podcast. And welcome to another episode of the Gamer Heads Podcast. My name is Roger. Along with me are my good friends and co-hosts. Of course, we have the CEO and president of Gamer Heads, Phil. I talk when I want. That's, yeah. Well, welcome. I'm glad that you're here uh, and that you're doing well. Done talking now. Okay. Uh, Thanks and, for having me, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. All right, I'm done interrupting now. Until the next time I interrupt. <laughs> And of course, we have our good friend and co-host. I have Mike. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, yeah. Let's take a moment. Can we take one quick moment here since it is WrestleMania weekend? Mm-hmm. Can we just take one quick? Well, you know, actually, by the time people listen to this, the WrestleMania has happened, but uh, they won't know this. Who won WrestleMania? Well, we can predict right now. Well, not predict. We're going to tell you who won WrestleMania right now. We are. Who wins? Yeah. Who wins WrestleMania? Who wins the championship belt? Our tribal chief. Okay. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. Cody sucks. Fuck him. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. then, Mike. That, okay, next topic. <laughs> Mike, who wins? Who wins the championship? One minute belt? and ten seconds for an F-bomb. Uh, so my prediction is that, um, what's his name? Rollins, not Rollins. Co- not Co- who the heck? Who wrestles the these days? Yokozuna. Yokozuna <laughs> is going to... Yokozuna versus Doink the Clown for the yeah. 24 hour hardcore championship. Be Which, in my opinion, was the best championship of all time in, in the WWE. Hardcore the, 24 match. Hour, the 24 hour hardcore. Like <laughs> somebody would just be ha- hanging out in a bar and then you'd get smashed <laughs> over the head with a bottle and they'd pin them. That was, was the stuff. best. That was the best. Anytime, anywhere. Um, no, I think I think the Rock and Roman are gonna win the tag tag match. Yeah. To make it um to make it whatever bloodline rules and then cody's gonna win on sunday i you know what i think would be awesome is if uh like Raul or uh why do i keep saying seth Rollins? um roman reigns is like okay so i can have whoever i want at the ring and you're only and you're not allowed to have any wwe superstars at the ring it so then MJF. cody goes and then out comes mjf or jericho or uh da- or you know um daniel Bryan, Bryan daniels yeah, or Dustin, oh, like Dustin, anybody yeah, like that, yeah. like anybody from AEW. I think that would be so. That would be such a surprise if they did that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if Triple H uh, wants to do cross promote. I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't mind doing cross promotion. I don't know anything about the guy, so. But <laughs> we had he had some cross promotions in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, he has the last couple of years. Well, there have been the last, I would, not a few years, but there's definitely been a few go-betweens yeah. in the last few rumbles. Which I think that would just be cool. Even if they just came out just to get into a just a little scuff with the yeah. other members of the bloodline, mm-hmm. I think yeah. that would be awesome. And then yeah. they go back to AEW and they do their own yeah. thing. And, yeah, I think that'd be cool. But that's not going to I still, I still want Doink the Clown to come out. No. <laughs> did, I tell you, I, did I tell you I saw Doink the Clown at a, uh, at, at a small town parade? Which no. Doink? <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, where where my parents was it have truly their... was doing the clown. I I'm mean, not. Oh, I, I don't know. It's tough it's, to say. There was at least three of my WWE and however many impersonators have been true. throughout true. the course of that's just true. the indie scenes. But they said doing the they advertised doing the clown because they were doing a wrestling show too. Because it was like oh. the big it was like the big small town carnival. Yeah. yeah. Every small town has its own carnival, and they yeah, had a wrestling yeah. show, and they said Doink the Clown, and then wow. he's on a big float, and I just yelled out as loud as I could, I love you, Doink! And <laughs> Doink just points at me. Nice. I, would, awesome. I like Doink the Clown. I thought he was, was awesome. awesome. When he was Doink cool. and Dink, yeah. Yeah, do you know, and, I, I, and I know this is not many people. I loved uh, the Brooklyn Brawler. I thought he was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, Barry Horowitz. Yeah, Barry Horowitz. 
that's actually uh, that was one of the one of my final decisions on uh, my baseball fantasy team was the Brooklyn Brawlers. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Barry Horowitz. Yeah. Oh no. Well, cool. I mean, uh, okay. That was so you top ten. So you say that Cody's going to win. That's what you're saying. I think he will. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is how I think it goes down. I do think that Rock and Roman win the tag team. I think that uh, the championship match, uh, Rock turns on Roman. Roman actually turns face at this point, and the Rock starts a dark faction of the bloodline. Or they separate. They start their own factions of the bloodline. Uh, Because, yeah, exactly. Uh, That's the way I see it going down. He's going to turn on Reigns, and he's going to rock bottom him. And he'll rock bottom Cody, too, and then put Cody on top of Roman. But that would make Rock a face, then. Or... I don't know if you if you rock bottoms both of them. I'm not sure that would make him a face. Oh. Or Paul Heyman, being the wise man that he is, and the advocate that is always chasing money, says F Roman Reigns turns on Roman Reigns and sides with The Rock because The Rock is a bigger name than Roman Reigns and has oh, more money. That's true too. And throws and an entire power. engine at he's that He's the final direction. boss. He's the final and, boss. And he's got a potty mouth. He's yeah, he's he's man. really yeah yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's and, and I'll just say other thing that I think is going to happen is uh, I think that uh, Seth Rollins beats uh, McIntyre, but then Priest comes out and beats Rollins and cashes in. That yeah. wouldn't shock me. Anyway, those are our predictions. <laughs> that's not that's not video game related, but those were our predictions. And by the time you hear this, you'll be like, well, WrestleMania is over. You were completely right. I can't yeah. believe how right you were. And uh, feel free and send me your I hate Cody hate mail because I'm glad to accept it. <laughs> and I will argue to my dying breath that Cody Rhodes is not a good guy slash baby face. Everything about him is a heel. And for some reason, the people have embraced it as such. Even Stardust? I mean, the current iteration of Cody Rhodes. Oh, okay. He comes out in suits that cost more money than most people make in a month. He talks okay. very slowly and down to people. He uses big words to confuse people. And he is very ego driven. He is nothing more than a heel that people are cheering for no real good reason. I, I will say he is well dressed. That guy is well dressed. He is a very always, sharp dressed man. He is super sharp dressed. Yeah. I don't know. But fuck him. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, well, well there goes our there goes our yeah, special guest yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. Next Cody's week not going to be have, on the show. Yeah, he's going to cancel now. Yeah, he was going to be on the show to talk about his championship, his finishing oh, story. Bummer. But I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, thanks, Phil. Uh, well, welcome, listeners. Wow, that was a long way to get we'll here. We'll have to welcome. get Doink on the show then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, He's, listeners. I can get a Ouija board. Oh, my gosh. Uh, welcome to our patrons as well, Matt, Sarah, and Jill. Thank you so much for supporting the Gamerheads podcast. And if you'd like to support the show in any form it is, uh, you can do so as easily as three dollars a month as low as three dollars a month i should say uh all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash gamerheads and you can sign up there uh i'll put a link in the show notes too and that allows us to continue to do our show and have fun and uh pay for phil's expensive uh-huh. lawsuits when he is like he literally and you mean that literally yeah. his suits yeah. phil his buys lawsuits. expensive yeah, his suits. Law, his law suits yeah, <laughs> yeah. Suits when he goes he just goes in, yeah. in court in yep. court yeah <laughs> Yep. Uh, I did that once. I defended myself. <laughs> I, that doesn't shock me, Phil. It's true story, man. You know, I would tell you, I defended myself once too. Did you feel like Harvey Dent? Because I did. No, I. Uh, what I, I it was not a big deal. I was, I was, uh, I was speeding, and uh, I showed up to my court case, and I was like, I stood up, and the judge was like, "Just sit down. It's fine." Uh, as he walked in, and then he was like, "Listen, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna let you go." I'm like, "Okay, cool, thanks." So. Uh, I got away with very. I think he gave me like a small fine, but mine was a DUI. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> and I defended myself and got the exact same punishment as the person that went before me that had a lawyer. So, oh, well, there you go. I would you like won. to say that I saved myself a lot of money and did the exact same work as a person that gets paid a lot more money yeah. to do the, yeah. what I did. Yeah, I think I got away with like I don't know, like fifty dollars or some fifty dollar fine or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, not get away. 
I, I, I pleaded no contest because I, I got away. Stuff. I dove out the window and I got the hell out of there. <laughs> I, I, I pleaded no contest. Look, afraid. everybody over there. Yeah, I took off running. <laughs> Roger just doesn't, he doesn't even dive through, just cannonballs right out, right out the window. It, yeah, listen, listen. Uh, I feel real badass now that I, I defended myself. I just remember that I feel like a real. I have some street cred from that, don't I, Phil? Isn't that giving me some street cred? Yeah, yeah. You, you got something out of that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, all right. Well, I have an icebreaker for us this week, gentlemen. We didn't just break the ice? No, we didn't. That was all not right. the icebreaker. Uh, the question I have for you this week is, what is the most unexpected game you've enjoyed this year? And, Mike, I'll start with you. Oh, what'd you do that for? Yeah, because you gave me a look of like, huh? Um, I, don't, I don't think there's. A, I've enjoyed a single game this wow. year. Wow. Did it, re- did it release this year? It doesn't, have to, it doesn't, have, to, it doesn't year? have to have released this year, but it has to be a game that you first played this year. So it can't right. be like, oh, I played this game last year and I'm still enjoying it. Like, and that'll hey. be the show. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mike, do you have a game that you uh, unexpected, an unexpected game that you've enjoyed this year? Uh, let me uh, go through the games I got. Because... Do you just want me to go first, Mike? Sure. Yeah, why don't yeah, you go yeah, first? Yeah, Give me time ahead. to think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to reiterate the fact that I have enjoyed and have very little left of it of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. It's been super fun. It's been good enough. And I've dug my time with it. And yes. I'm fighting myself for fighting the urge to do 100% on it. But... We'll see what happens. Uh, it's better than I thought it would be, and I was pleasantly surprised by it. Nice. Very cool. Mike, do you have a game? Yeah, I'm good now. Okay, good. Thanks for stalling, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm an excellent he, staller. He gave me his answer. It wasn't stalling. No, well, he, he also him. stalled. That's yeah. true. He did. All right. Uh, so, actually, I think I got two of them. Um, oh, I do, too. My runner-up is definitely that uh, Tomb Raider Remastered trilogy. Oh, mm-hmm. I re- forgot that how much I talked about how much I enjoyed uh, the Tomb Raider games, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean it's it's Tomb Raider, so only a li- it's a lot prettier. Uh, and then uh, I'd say my biggest surprise would have to be Roger would have to be that walkabout mini golf. Yeah, that's a good game. We need to play that again. Mm-hmm. That was really that's really fun. That I was just thinking um, about that the other day because we got a hole in one. We both got a hole in one in that one hole, and that was really fun. And yeah, yeah, we should play that again. That was really fun. Absolutely, yeah. And there was a big sale, and I picked up. Uh, I, I I picked up the you know the Beat Saber game. Oh, you did. I haven't, I haven't played it yet, but I'd have to say that. And you know, I haven't even played the Switch all year. I don't think I played a single game on the Switch. What? No, 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 no. I take it back. I take it back. I played Berserk Boy for yeah, my review. Say, you reviewed I, did, game on the I Switch. did the review of Berserk Boy. Yeah, yeah. Played it on an emulator. Yeah. Shut it down. No, Nintendo. that's a new Shut game. You can't emulate yeah, you new can. games. That's a, yeah, it's a new game. Uh, that's, that's a yeah. good conversation if you want to do uh, uh, Gamerheads Unfiltered. Games and emulated? what should Nintendo shut down? No, just the whole, just the whole uh, uh, emulation, uh, oh, you know, because yeah, that's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, actually, that's a good idea. We should do a topic around that. That would be a kind of an interesting topic. Mm-hmm uh good picks for me i'm gonna i also have two picks the first one is cassette piece uh i when i first started playing that game i was like eh, this just feels like pokemon i don't know and then we started playing it for the podcast and i was really digging it i still dig it i think it's a good game i'm gonna go back to it i just haven't had a chance to go back to it um but that was a lot better than i thought it was gonna be and it's a lot harder than pokemon like pokemon I mean, you can grind pretty well, pretty easily. You can just keep pressing A. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. I like I like cassette piece, and I like the music. The music is like really good in cassette piece. Yep. So, mm-hmm. uh, really enjoyed. I that. could have included that one too. Uh, the other one that I'm going to say is another game that I'm actually reviewing right now, and I'll talk a little bit more about it when we get to the games that we're currently playing. Um, but I have been playing a game that went. So there was a demo of it first. And I played the demos during one of the Steam Fest demos, and I didn't really like it very much because I, it was just too. I don't know. I there was it just didn't connect with me. And then uh, I was, was offered. We were offered a review code to start playing it. It's called Beat Saber. It's Beat, Beat Slayer. Boy, not Beat Saber. Beat Slayer. Uh, it is uh, an action. Tell me, it's about killing vegetables. Yes, you kill beets. Uh, Sweet. No, it's a it's a it's a rhythm game. 
uh and it's a it's a roguelike but it's a very forgiving roguelike i'll talk more about it when we play games but i'm really enjoying that game a lot and i'll have my review up on the site uh by the time you hear this so uh the other cool thing i'll just share this real quick uh their press sent me this really cool cassette with the music oh wow um what's cool about this you pull up the cassette right and then it's actually a usb uh, so it's like this. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's super cool. Isn't oh, that really that cool? Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's like so a transformer. Got, yeah, kind of. Yeah, sure and I got that. I got that in the. I got that in the mail, and I was like, "This is really cool." So they sent me a nice little note and uh, and and this cool uh, cassette. So I thought that was really neat. Nice. With the music and the music's really good too. So. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, yes, Mike. Oh, do you I'm have surprised. a you have a rant too? Don't you? I have a rant, uh, but uh, I just wanted to call it that I'm very surprised that neither of you called out Bellatro. I thought about it, but I also realized that as soon as I saw Bellatro, I knew I'd enjoy it. So it wasn't a game that I thought I wouldn't enjoy. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, me too. I mean, because uh, I, I knew I, I knew I was going to like it so much that I actually <laughs> I actually bid on it in the uh, Fantasy Critics League that I'm in. And uh, <laughs> and it did so well. Well, <laughs> Bill. Yes, I'm a Sorry. nerd. Okay, I'm a nerd. Dude, there's uh, no, I'm a huge nerd. And yeah. but fantasy critic review league is that's some. It's awesome, Phil. It is amazing. Dude, it is, really is there money on the line? It's a good time, Phil. That's what's on the line. A good time. Oh. There's no money on the line. There's bragging rights. But, well, that's but that's you know. But anyway, I, I saw that and I was like, this game's going to do really well, and I was right. I was absolutely right. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's a good game too. Mike, you, you do have a rant though, don't you? Yes. I'm actually going to, uh, kind of switch things around a little bit. Uh, it's actually a, a anti rant. Oh, uh, it's a praise. An- well, I mean, yeah, and oh. I, actually, yeah, but it, it's <laughs> okay. actually, so I'm actually going to be praising myself. <laughs> Word, so, I can get behind this. Yes. Uh, my, is that humble break? Is that what this is called? Oh no, no, it's not even humble. It's just straight oh. up brag. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, last week I went on a rant uh, about Microsoft and their Microsoft Rewards points that they're well, dropping points, and it's really annoying and it gets on my nerves. Why well, a nice little rant? Go ahead and check out last week's episode of the Gamerheads podcast if you'd like to hear it. You can find that on GamerHeadsPodcast.com, and you can find it on all your favorite podcasting subscription. Not, not on Google Podcasts anymore, though. That not on Google Podcasts anymore, but you Isn't can Google get Music it. Isn't Google Music dead? Yeah, it is. That's why I said that. But you can find it yeah. on YouTube. We have our YouTube channel, GamerHeads. Yeah, you can find uh, it on YouTube. YouTube. Slash GamerHeads Podcast. But if you want the good stuff, you got to get Patreon, because that's when that's I'll send true. you. That's when you'll also get the mic, tw- um, you know, month, <laughs> month-to-month calendar of me in various poses and positions. <laughs> Ranting. Ranting. Uh, you're ranting yeah that actually yeah. that would be really funny mike we should do that as a, or as a rant gift. a day calendar yeah rant rant a day a day calendar. Calendar. oh my god mike can we do that i can't think of 365 yes, rants you can. yes you can. all right yes, you rant can. number one roger's making me do this <laughs> <laughs> rant number two i'm not seeing any money from this <laughs> yes i can take the holidays from you on your rant today ca- calendar if you'd like because i can rant Sounds about good. holidays dude i hate holidays yeah, don't get me started on flag day <laughs> Man, look at all the majestic and the breeze and stuff. According to my watch, I just had a heart attack because you mentioned Flag Day. Awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Or as they say here in Minnesota, Flag Day. Flag Day. (laughs) Uh, So what? What is? uh, What is? What case? What's your anti rant then? My anti rant is uh, Microsoft must have listened to the last episode of the Gamerheads podcast over GamerheadsPodcast.com. Yeah, I saw that in the stats. Yeah, because then they uh, they implemented a 250 point a week um i I guess um if you if you basically if you play the x an an, one xbox game once a day for five days four days four days or five days throughout the week five days you get 250 points which gives you a thousand points a month which is a huge bump into what we've been getting which is basically we've been losing so uh if if you want to send your love mail to me to say thank you for you know standing up for you the people and telling our evil overlords at microsoft like hey we whoa, need whoa, more whoa, points your um our wonderful i'll bite it leaders for you. at microsoft <laughs> oh um 
then yes, you can send it to me on Twitter at PezGuyMike, uh, and I'll be happy to reply saying you're welcome. But that's an anti-rant. So thank you, Microsoft, for, for implementing a 1,000 points a month uh, little bonus info that you can do by downloading the Xbox app to your phone that's awesome. or tablet. Can I thank Microsoft for a second, too? You can thank Mike first. Mike, I, I appreciate you for getting the rewards back to where All right, they are. There we go. Fantastic. No problem. <laughs> I'm here. I, I'm a man of the people, Phil. I'm a man of the people. You really are. You speak for all of them. I and do. Us. Mm. That's right. Uh, but can I, I thank Microsoft? Go for it. The floor is yours. It's yeah. an anti rant. So, yeah. Microsoft, I would like to thank you for not being Nintendo. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> oh my god uh you know i have to get back on the bandwagon with my with my points because i since i came back from from boston i have not get back on the checking this checking the things and stuff like that i was really religious there for a while so i need to get back on to that so yeah. i do have an announcement to make yeah um i kind of have a sponsor for us wait can really? you can you announce this or no did it yeah. the ink dry yeah, uh, let's put it this way. The sauce is not dry. Oh, we got some sauce. I know. I know where you're going with this. Remember you and I had the conversation about investing in it and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, what's the I'm like, what's the entry price? And you're like, here it is. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> is this is this a real thing, Phil? Yeah, uh, the owner of Seven Bridges Yum Yum Sauce, or I'm sorry, Seven Bridges Sauces, which is just went to press with his first batch of sauces, has said that he would be more than happy to buy an ad spot on our show. What? What? That is Seven Bridges Sauces, Seven... based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And his first sauce that is being unveiled is Yum Yum Sauce. And how is the Yum Yum Sauce? Is it yummy? Uh, yeah, dude. I've been eating it for the last six and a half years on almost a daily basis. Okay. What would you put a Yum Yum Sauce on? What do you put Yum Yum Sauce on? For? Uh, typically fried rice. I've also tossed wings in it as well. Ooh. And it works well with wings. It gives okay. a nice little twang to it. Okay. What would you I... put it on the heat index scale? Yeah. Oh, super low. It's mild as hell. Okay. All right. Okay. There's no spice to it. It's just a little flavorful. So I I would love to put that on some sushi. I think mm-hmm. I'll get you a bottle. Send it to you. Okay. And some wings. That sounds. I you know I will tell you wings are my kryptonite. I love wings so much, and I will. I'm a sucker I, for them. I will put them on wings. That's awesome. Uh, can I so, can I drizzle it on my shoulder and lick it? Can can, can he drizzle, drizzle it on, on your his shoulder, shoulder and I'll lick it on yeah. my own shoulder? Can, can I lick it, I Mike? Know. Can I yeah. lick off it? my shoulder? Yeah, yeah. He's got two shoulders. Yeah, I got two shoulders. Yeah, all right. Can, can Phil lick one shoulder? <laughs> I'll lick the other shoulder. It'll be weird, but it'll be I part would, of your well, calendar. That would be part of your calendar. <laughs> Not that there's. Yeah, that'll be. Yep, yep. That would be actually. That would be September. <laughs> that would be September. Why is September? Yeah. Wait, is that when Gemini season is? Because Gemini is the twins. <laughs> Actually, I think it's Virgo, which would be kind of the opposite of what yeah, we're going to You know right, what? This right. show, you're going to have to do a lot of editing I'm on this I'm not editing episode. any of this. Oh, uh, where can you find this yum yum sauce, Phil? Where can they, where can people buy I'm this? I'm telling sauce? you, like, it just came off oh, of the rack came, today. Oh, like, okay. like, not even on the racks. It just got bottled today. Like, wow. the first batch got bottled. Okay. I got a video of sauces being squirted into bottles and stuff, and I was like, oh, yo, that's, that's oh, awesome. Wow. So wow. as soon as we know where it's available and when, I'm pretty sure Amazon's going to be one of those locations that you can purchase it. And I, I do won't. know that they've got an Instagram page, which is Seven Bridges Sauces, uh, that you can follow and look for updates on there. But I'll put a link we're going to be swimming notes. in sauces soon. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I will gladly purchase some sauce. I'm always on the lookout for a good sauce. Everybody loves sauce. Me too. I, and especially like wing sauce, man. I love wing. I and we eat a lot of rice. I eat a lot of sushi. I'd love to put. On, I love. I love yum yum sauce on my sushi. Is it good so. on white rice too? It's good. Like, on mix it in. To, yeah. Why not, I, what I like to do because we had Chinese over the weekend, and what I like to do is I like to get that hot oil that you get with the pot stickers. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You know with with, yeah, the, yeah, with yeah. the chili flakes in it, and I just put that in my uh, in my rice and just mix it all yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna send you some of that too. What's up? I said I can send you some chili crunch oil too while I'm at it. Oh no, I don't want. No, it doesn't need to be that. No, it's good. It it, it 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 sometimes it gets a little too hot. So like if I'm congested, that stuff's perfect. Oh yeah, yeah. I eat wasabi yeah. for that. For that reason, I just snort wasabi for that. <laughs> just rails fat rails of wasabi just right up the left nostril. Oh, <sighs> quick quick fun story about wasabi. So uh, I was out to eat. This one was in college, and I was out to eat with my parents. They came took me out to eat, and uh, and my dad likes to play tricks on me. So, but my dad doesn't. You know, he didn't really eat at a lot of like Asian restaurants. And I told him that that is really 
<laughs> so what's that? It was wasabi. And I said, oh, you just pick that up and eat it. It's delicious. It's so good. And he popped in his mouth and like a lot of swear words were said at me. And I laughed really hard. It was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound funny. Yeah, he was not happy with me. Uh, he ended up drinking my wine, though. So I guess that, it, you know, because his mouth was burning. Anyway, cool. I'm excited that we have a new sponsor. So very cool. Uh, let's move on to, uh, games that are coming out next week. So this is for the week of the, well, by the time you listen to this, uh, it'll be the eighth through the 13th. Uh, so on the 9th, April 9th on Tuesday, we have Botany Manor that's coming out on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Switch and PC. Game Pass. Uh, Yeah, I think it is coming on Game Pass, isn't it? It is uh children of the sun is also coming out on the 9th on pc and then also on the 9th is a gigantic rampage edition that's playstation 5 xbox series x and s playstation 4 xbox one and pc and then inkbound is also coming out on april 9th on the pc on april 10th we have flip house flipper 2 oh let me tell you about house flipper 2 <laughs> That's going on on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S. It's on the 10th. On the 11th, uh, a game that I'm very looking forward to is called Let's Revolution. That's coming out on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch. That's on the 11th of April. And if you want to hear more about that game, you can go to GamerHeadsPodcast.com where you can read my preview of that game. Uh, I got to preview it at PAX East. Uh, and then Slave Zero X, that's coming out on a Switch on April 11th. So it's a kind of a smaller week, but there's there's a couple games on here that uh, are pretty exciting. So uh, Let's Revolution, I'll just briefly mention that here. Like that game, if, you, uh, if you've always wanted to play Minesweeper and you wanted to try to enjoy Minesweeper, but you just can't get into it, this is a much better version of that game. I hate Minesweeper, but I love this game um is a puzzle game and you fight against uh villains and you try and take down the king and uh every level you is uh procedurally generated so every game feels a little bit different and then you can unlock new characters as well it's very fun it's a very fun game and i will say that whoever runs their social media apparently the king himself uh has uh has uh has uh whenever i said nice things about the game he uh shakes his fist at me saying stop trying to overthrow my kingdom so uh it's very funny (laughs) yeah so those are the games that are coming out next week uh mike can we can we talk about a game because it's your show man it's your show if it's i I, depends on how how on i am but go ahead okay all right well i mean here's the thing you're a busy person yes you know you're doing all the things I, i i am i am busy um I got man, I'm off tonight, but go ahead. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> but you have this uncanny ability to just re- be able to review a game based on the title of the game, which is really mm. amazing. That's yes, it took took many, many days of honing these skills. Yeah, yeah. And uh, being I, I, busy. Yeah, I know. Uh can you tell us more about Gigantic Rampage Edition? What is what is this game about? Oh, I told Wait a second. Did you? This are, are is you, the largest crock of shit that I've ever been a part of in my entire life. Was that, was that, was I, I, that, this that, is absolute was garbage, that, Roger. Was that, was, that, yeah, this, was, that epi- was that on the episode that didn't air? Didn't that was air. On the episode, the episode that, that, that should have aired that you refused to air because you thought that we don't know how to run a show so by ourselves. This, on purpose. <laughs> this is absolute hogwash. Here's the thing. You know here's what? the thing. I had. I actually had. I, here, here's the thing. I know you guys were recording it. I started listening, but then I had to write. I was like, oh, shoot. I have a lot of things to write to write. And I actually took my headphones off. So I'm sorry. I actually didn't listen to the show when you guys went to this part. I am so sorry. Uh, you should have listened to it when you <laughs> uploaded it. Yeah. And given it to the fans. Give the people what they want, which is the Mike and Phil show. OK, well, you know what? Well, hold on to it. You know what? I'll cut it out of that. Give it to our Patreons. It yeah, I'll throw it out. You know what? We're going to throw it on our Patreons. That's right. You know what? If you want to hear Mike's. Was it Mike or you feel that talked about this game? <laughs> Holy shit. Why do I come here every week? We just lost our sponsor already, Roger. I just got a text from my brother. Now we oh, own that sauce. <laughs> oh, 
okay, we'll put that on Patreon so that way, Patreon, so you can listen to that there. Yeah. Wow. I uh, want to listen to it too. Moving on. How did you talk about that last that two weeks ago when this game's coming out this week? Because we be- did the entire month because we're a bunch of assholes and you were yelling at us <laughs> via the that's chat true. saying Actually, we've that's, done this before. That's true. That is true. That part I do remember because you went through every game every game and i'm like that's not how we do this that's Roger, not how we, we have a lot this. of time to fill when you're not here to talk when it's just mike and i who don't really say much <laughs> and we let you do your thing we had to find a way to kill five minutes and that's how we killed those five minutes that's right yeah, yeah. we had to wing it <laughs> you know what goes, goes good? you know what goes good on wings right <laughs> seven bridges yum yum <laughs> sauce that's right, that's right. Who just pulled their sponsorship oh, due to your oh lack God. of listening to Mike Already. and I talk? I think that's oh, the God. fastest we've ever lost a sponsor. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. We're going to move on to games. Listeners, that we're if you've ever wondered why I drink so much during this show, <laughs> just pay attention. Hmm. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, games that we're currently playing. Uh, wow. Um, Mike, what games are you currently playing? Uh, so I played a little bit more of the the uh, Tomb Raider game because I realized that there was a DLC. Or I'm not going to say DLC. What does it matter with me? There was no DLC back in 96. Uh, but when Tomb Raider came out for the PC, there was an extra level that they added Ooh. to it. And I didn't realize that. And so I fired it up. Oh, and yeah. so I was playing some of that. So it's like an it was like an extra stage on the final or an extra level on the final stage, but it takes place during the, the towards the end of the story in, mm-hmm. in Tomb Raider one. So I did that. And then I also uh, played the um, tutorial where she's running around her, uh, her house doing all sorts of backflips and stuff. Cause there's an achievement for it. Of course there is. Yeah. Uh, I played, um, I played some more MLB, the show. Um, <clears throat> and because I am, uh, a, a filthy, filthy achievement hunter, um, I, uh, played a few games against, against my son. So that way I could get a triple. And so that way I could load the bases and then, uh, get three straight strikeouts to end the inning, which is an achievement. So I cheated my way into getting some achievements. So Phil, if you want some easy achievements, just hit me up. We could play a get. We could play, <laughs> play a game. against the son. Apparently he throws the son under the bus against- for you. Or you yeah. can or me. I don't mind. I'll throw myself under the bus. I only have three achievements left in that game, and those are two of them. Really? Yep. Oh, really? Well, there you go. So just yeah, let me know, really. and I can, you know, I can I can help you out. Uh, played some more Fall Guys, you know, because just to just to waste some time. Uh, let's see. And oh, I played some uh, PGA 2K23. I got a hole in one last week. I, I saw you were playing nice. on Sunday night, and yeah. I almost crashed your party. The good Why'd game. you crash it? Well, when well, even if you did, you wouldn't be able to talk unless you are on discord because we chat on discord yeah. okay so you need discord wait who are you chatting uh, with on discord? i have Discord. you don't need to worry about that roger wow. yeah wow. you don't wait, golf wait, hold on you guys all have your own little group party our things going society. on and i don't i don't get invited to any of this we have our own podcast on the side <laughs> <laughs> well that does that would surprise probably better than this podcast no, uh, it's, it's called just... the head of the gamer table <laughs> that's right <laughs> is roman reigns in that no. no. Okay. Yeah. Doink is though. Doink. <laughs> Doink the gamer. That's right. That's right. No, it's just it's just me and some of the old controller throwers people. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most abrupt ending to that segment. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, you know what? No, oh, I'm going to call wait, this wait, out. No, hold, on, hold on. But wait, there's more. Um, I played uh, I played more of that Jigsaw, uh, Microsoft Jigsaw. You know what? That's a game. That's a fun game. I play it every day because, once again, if you play a PC game every day, you get 30 Microsoft points. So mm-hmm. I, I play Microsoft Jigsaw on my computer for 10 minutes, do my daily challenge, and then I'm done. Nice. Very relaxing. Very cool. Phil, what have you been playing? <sighs> well, I'm going to start with the easy one. I've only played about 45 minutes of it, but I've enjoyed the 45 minutes that I've played so far of it. It is Lego 2K Drive. Oh, <laughs> I want to that on was on Pass. sale. Oh, it was on Game Pass. I thought it was on sale, too. I, I know it was on sale, but now it's on Game Pass. I got to play that game. Yeah, it's a it's a racing game. It's kind of like Legos meet Forza meet Mario Kart. 
Yep, that's the that's the. I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, it's pretty slickly executed because you have three different vehicles out of the gates, and as you switch terrain, the vehicle automatically switches, which is kind of cool. Like you don't lose momentum. So like if you're driving on the road and then you go off the road and you go into a field, you then jump onto like an off road vehicle, which then if you hit like a lake, river, pond. You turn into a boat, and then it just like flips automatically between all three oh, of them, which cool. is really cool. That's so cool. I, so like that Sonic All Stars racing game or something almost. I'm gonna just say sure because I don't know. They did that. That the vehicles would transform into some. Never mind. I'll mm. be quiet. No, you can. I'm I'm intrigued. No, nope, too late. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's an open world racing game, much like Forts is. We go stumble across challenges throughout the course of the world. You get rivals. You can build new cars out of Legos, obviously. Like I said, I haven't spent too much time with it, but my time that I've had so far, I've enjoyed with it, so I do plan on putting more time into it. Uh, of course, I have played a lot more MLB The Show, even though I quit playing MLB The Show, but then the new one came out, so I started playing MLB The Show, and I've played a lot of it. We're not going to discuss that. Uh, and then just tonight, and over the course of the last week, but just tonight, I proved exactly how much I hate myself, and myself and my friend Andy finished up Justice League, killed the Suicide Squad. Oh, you did um, pretty much avoiding all side missions and just mainlining through the main story, which the main story is so, so well-written, brought me to tears with laughter on multiple occasions, including the time that you kill the Flash. When you kill the Flash, it might be the funniest thing I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, I should probably just send you guys the clip on YouTube so you don't have to suffer through the actual game itself, which is the drizzling shits. Yeah. Um, but season one just came out and it's got the Joker in it where you can now, I think, play as the Joker. So we were trying to finish that up so that way we could check out this new joker content even though i think i went on a rant moderately recently here about how i'm over the joker you did but i'm intrigued enough that i'll check it out um but it recommended you play through the entire story mode before you get into that so we finished the story mode and i said you want to jump into this joker stuff and andy said uh in very unmixed terms i've already uninstalled this fucking game in the middle of the credits rolling i am so over this piece of shit game i don't know what they were thinking pretty much end quote uh the game's a fucking disaster sorry about wow. all the f-bombs tonight but it's just kind of the way that it is the wow. like it's not it's kind of fun but it is there are three missions in the game hmm. and i'm not exaggerating i say there's three missions in the game it's either escort the payload uh kill all the robots or that might be it well i thought there's only that one mission to kill justice league well, yeah, and then there's the boss battles, and those are kind of fun, but they're also very convoluted. The gunplay is super convoluted as well. And like I said, the structure of the game, as I said three, four months ago when it originally came out, is just so disjointed where each of your quote-unquote missions are five minutes long, and it pulls you out to a screen that gives you the recap, and it it's just, they didn't fix that at all, and it's just... Ugh. Hmm. But the story itself is super fun and super funny and well-written, and if they just would have given us that game, it's also really short if you just mainline the main story. I would say it's a five-hour game, maybe. Wow. which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I finished it. I can say that I finished it. I feel worse about myself for finishing it, but I feel good about the fact that I actually paid money for it and I finished the game. So I'm totally cool with it. Yeah, that makes me sad, though, because I know that you and Andy were really looking forward to this game. Super stoked. Yeah, especially coming off of Gotham Knights. You're both like, I can't wait. Uh... To play this game. You were, you were like I, sucked as well. I know. And I know. so Suicide Squad can't be worse. Yeah, I know. I remember. And I remember saying, well, I, I want to play, too. I want to play as like uh, Harley Quinn. I'll go. play as Harley Quinn. And, and, yeah, and you were like, no, you don't want to play this game. <laughs> I was like, you don't want to play this game. And that made me really sad because, like, I mean, I love I listen. I, I'm more of a Marvel guy than DC guy. I know comic book wise, I think, Phil, you're more of a DC guy than, than Marvel guy. Uh, so that makes me really sad because, you know, you out of all of us were really looking forward to this game. Yep. And uh, and that makes me sad for you because I know how much you were really excited for this game. When your pedigree before it is all the Arkham games and yeah. the joy that is the Arkham games and even the worst of the Arkham games being not Arkham Knight, Arkham Origins Those is pretty decent, head and though. shoulders above Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah. Like, and it, it's not in it, i can't say that it's a bad game it's a game that doesn't make any sense and again the writing in it is so 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 good like king shark is amazing in the game captain boomerang fantastic in the game harley quinn above average in the game dead shots just kind of there no sense of humor to him so it doesn't really matter but like the banter between all of them is outstanding and the cutscenes are incredible and so well done 
where if they just would have given us that style of a game instead of a games as a service game, I would be singing the praises of this game from the highest mountain. And instead yeah. they gave us a games as a service game with repetitive bullshit missions with no real point to it. And they kind of only explain a lot of things to you once. Like there's enemies that you can't even hurt unless you do a certain thing to them. And it only tells you the one time how to do the certain thing to them. And since we had taken a couple of months off the game, neither one of us could remember how to hurt the enemies that were invincible. And it turns out you just have to hold down the right trigger button instead of tap the right trigger button. You like hold it down. Then you hit them with an elemental effect. It breaks their shields and you can kill them. But it was, again, only talked about once. And it was uh, so disappointed. But I'm going to mess around with it and play around with the Joker stuff. And I'm going to do a bunch of side quests because I'm an achievement whore. So it'll all be okay in the end, maybe. I mean, I'm not going to like myself anymore for doing it, but I'm not going to dislike myself anymore. <laughs> I was going to say, will you either. like yourself less for playing that game? No, that's pretty much impossible. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay. Fair. Fair. Uh, on the bright side in the world of achievements, I am up 410 achievement points from last week, so I'm still wow. keeping a pretty good clip over the course of the Holy over God. the course of the year. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, any other games? Mm, I mean, I played a little bit of Overwatch, but that doesn't count because it's Overwatch. It's kind of like MLB The Show. It doesn't count. I just play them um no i don't think so okay well it's a good thing that mike and i have uh some games the other pick to pick between one of us so you'll have another game next week um but how am i supposed to play the show well that's a good question uh for myself uh i've been playing quite a few games uh the first one i'll mention is a game that i got to try at pax east uh and that is called world of grim I think I mentioned it last week, but I'll mention it again because I've been playing a lot of this. Um, so World of Grimm is a deck builder game similar to <sighs> Marvel Snap. and uh, But it's a really quick game. But this is what I like about the game because you can play it in like two minutes. And it's all the Grimm characters. and Like Brothers Grimm fairy tale stuff? Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and it's cool because they, the art in the game is really good. And they have commissioned artists to do variant cover or variants of the different cards. Um, and uh, I got one variant from PAX East because they gave me a variant card. Um, I'll show you because you'll see it, but nobody else can see it. But you can watch me stream this game, too. I got Rapunzel, uh, a, a futuristic Rapunzel. Oh, right on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, each card has their own abilities. Rapunzel's is that when you play her, she steals a character from that same realm. There's three realms. She steals an enemy character from that realm and pulls it to your side. Um, and the whole point of the game is to get more attack points in each realm than your opponent. And if you get two out of the three realms, you win. And I will say, I mean, I've been playing this quite a bit. I think I'm like level 20, late 20s, early 30s now. Um, and I think probably only lost maybe less than a handful of games, which I'm very proud of. So you're um, saying you're overpowered. I'm saying you need to be good. nerfed. Phil, I'm saying I'm very good at the game. That's what I'm saying. You need to be nerfed. Got <laughs> it's it. A, it's a strategy game, Phil. It's a strategy game. Nerfed. Uh, but I, I did get the chance to talk to the developers as well. And if you haven't had a chance to listen to that, that is uh, on our site. So you can go to GamerHeadsPodcast.com to listen to that. Uh, another game that I've been playing is... Beat Slayer, I mentioned that earlier, but uh, that review should be up on the site by the time you hear this. That is a, uh, it's like Hades in a, in a sense that, you know, you go through different levels, you collect different uh, upgrades um, in the levels, but then you can also collect XP, go back to your base, and then you level up your character with the XP that you get. So, um, and it's pretty it's cool this game is so f interesting so you do more damage when you're on beat uh you go into this dance trance thing it's a german word I, i'm not gonna even try to pronounce it because it takes place in dance Berlin. trance revolution yeah sprockets sprockets sprockets, sprockets. <laughs> um and uh and uh it's it takes place in the future there's a rogue ai that's trying to take over the world led by dietrich uh who is like this uh -huh. guy yeah yeah um it's Dietrich a good was game. in Sprockets, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I am so. Dita. Yeah, I am Dita. Um, it's really good. I, I, like I said, when I played the demo, I wasn't that big of a fan of the game. It just didn't click with me. And then I got the review code and I started playing it and something happened. It just clicked and I'm really enjoying this game a lot. So uh, that is Beat Slayer. Uh, the other game that I've been playing is another game that I got to play at PAX West. And that's called Biomorph. 
this game is so good. This game is so good. This game is a how Metro- good is it? It's so good. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a Metrovania game that looks like a cartoon. Uh, so you your character you play when you beat up a character when you beat up an enemy you can morph into them and take on their abilities and then some and then you can use their abilities to get through different areas like one might be a big like burly guy or bur- like burly big monster thing you just smash through bricks and get through there um the animation is so good and they in the artwork is so good and then there's cut scenes it just looks like a saturday morning cartoon it reminds me very much of a saturday morning cartoon um there's some cool caveats with this game if you uh, the more you morph into an en- the same kind of enemy, the more powerful you get as an enemy, but also it spawns more enemies as well. Um, so there's kind of risk and rewards for that. Um, and it's story-driven. It's a Metrovania. It's really good. It is... yeah, Mike, this is like right up your alley. What did you play it on? Uh, right now I'm playing on a PC, but it's on... It's, it's, uh, it is out now on the Switch uh and maybe xbox as well i'm not sure i'm not i can't i can't say that for sure but i know for switch and pc um but is when i played this game mike i was thinking of you it is on xbox okay yeah and it actually comes out today yeah yeah it's 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 really good like i can't i i'm writing my review for that as well um, oh i'm i'm looking at a gif of it and that looks smooth baby yeah it is yeah, it is so good. Um, Let me add it to my there you go. wish list. There you go. Um, so that is Biomorph. Uh, the other thing that I just want to mention, too, is that I've been working really hard at putting articles up of all the PAX East games that I played. Um, so you can go to the GamerHeadsPodcast.com and read all these articles that I've been writing. Uh, I will say this. Thank goodness for Magic Mind, because if I didn't have Magic Mind, I would be like, I don't want to sit down after a full day of work and write any of this stuff. Uh, Magic Mind seriously gives me the energy and the creativity to actually write these articles. And it's fun. I'm enjoying myself writing these articles. But I'm going to tell you, I don't think I don't think I would have as much fun uh, or the energy to do this if it wasn't for Magic Mind. So uh, I will plug this here because they are a sponsor for us as well. Uh, You can go to our website at our go to their website i should say at magicmind.com slash gamerheads and use the promo code gamerheads with an extra s and uh you can actually get a discount on your uh purchase so i'll put a link in the show notes for that too but i yeah it, that magic mind has been a lifesaver for me in the last couple of weeks because being at pax needed that there <laughs> writing all these articles helps me get through the day and really long days at work. It's really hard coming back to a full day at work when you're gone for a full week. I realized that I didn't realize how hard that was going to be until I came back. So, uh, so yeah, check that out. Uh, that's pretty much all the games I've been playing. Let's move on to our final topic. Then Phil, we each have a game that we want to pitch to you and you being the CEO have to decide which one of these games you're going to pick and play. Now, both of these games are on Game Pass, so we're not, you know, so you're not going to spend any money outside of your subscription for Game Pass, obviously. So, Mike, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? I guess, you, you know, let you, Phil decide. Yeah. Mike, you won last week. Phil, you could decide who goes first here, I guess. Uh, just for that, I'm going to take Mike's 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 game first, as I'm going to say Mike a whole bunch of times into the mic. Mike, 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 Mike. Okay. Mike, 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 Mike. Uh, let's Mike. see. Here is the description. Evil never sleeps, but it bleeds. A dark menace consumes. I- I'm sure that's exactly how they they typed it out too. A dark menace consumes the American frontier. As one of the last agents in a top secret vampire hunting institute, you are the final line between humanity and a deep rooted terror that now emerges from the shadows. Rise up to become a Wild West superhero, eradicate the vampire threat, and save the United States. In visceral, explosive combat, unleash hell with your firearms, lightning-fueled gauntlet, and gadgets. Kill bloodthirsty monstrosities in style. As a lone hunter, or in online co-op with a friend. Explore and fight in a narrative-driven campaign while upgrading your weapons and hunting tools. Unlock new perks to evolve your monster-slaying mastery crafting your own play style to defeat the supernatural hordes features 
battle alone or with a friend in stylish, gory action combat, myths and legends retold with the stylized, weird Wild West universe, evolve with perks, upgradable weapons and tools, explore and fight through a story-driven campaign to save America. And that game is Evil West. Uh, Roger, you got a tall mountain to climb there, man. A lot of those words, they, uh, <laughs> they make me excited. Okay, well... I'm going to start off by saying this, Phil, you like open world games, right? You like, you like adventure like games. games. Yeah, yeah, you do. I do like adventure games. And oh, I should have given this a lot of, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm sorry. I should have given a little more pomp and circumstance when I was doing mine. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, well. You, did, you said, I asked you, how is it? You said, just sell it however you want. You told me that. Yeah, you said, I know. I said, that? sell it. I forgot to sell my game. Phil, you it's, didn't it's, need a, it's to. a good the game. Sold himself, Mike. <laughs> well, All right. That's so, true. Here, here's the other thing. This game I'm about to tell you uh-huh. happens to be. Jill Groats, probably her favorite game. Oh. And if she's going to be a guest on our show coming up here either next week or the week after, you're going to have to tell her why you didn't pick this game. And I'm going to make you tell her why I you didn't. I haven't decided yet. I'm man. just telling you, if you don't pick this game, you're going to have to explain to her why you didn't pick this game. I'm I might gonna... pick it just so I can hate it and shit all over Jill's favorite game. <laughs> so let me let me read you. Let me read you the, the thing. Explore a land filled with lost legends, ancient powers uh, and ferocious oh, monsters. Sorry. Oh, ferocious an, monsters. Yeah. In an isometric action game about a small fox on a big adventure stranded on a ruined land and armed with only your own curiosity. You will confront colossal beast. Collect strange and powerful items and unravel long lost secrets. Is this Tunic? It is Tunic. I've played Tunic, Roger. Oh, come on. I mean, I've never played Tunic. It's Tunic. <laughs> and it's on Game Pass. Uh... I'll tell you this, Phil, if it if it really. <laughs> so I'm going to give a con- Here's my counter argument. Oh, OK. okay. So this is why okay. you should pick my game instead of Roger's game. <laughs> Tunic is on the switch but evil <laughs> west <laughs> not on the switch i'm just saying that if you don't pick this game phil you're gonna have to explain to jill why you didn't pick this game can the answer be because i've already played it <laughs> well i mean i guess <laughs> i didn't know you played this game already phil that's okay you have no idea what games i you play can, you can run the deku deals achievement points okay. Ro- roger just run the deku deals and pick a random game i but <laughs> Okay. Okay. You know, yeah, name. Trust me. Jurassic okay. edition or okay. something. What? <laughs> that was my terrible <laughs> idea. Don't give so Roger my terrible <laughs> idea. Doesn't seem... Okay. Okay. Here's one. Here's one. I don't know if you played this game before, Phil. Here's a different. Here's a different one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not. That's not much. Okay. This is the definitive edition of the groundbreaking role-playing game. You are a detective with unique skill system at your disposal and a whole city block to carve your own path across. A whole Inter- block? Yeah, a whole a whole city block. A whole oh city block. Interrogate <laughs> unfor- unforgettable characters, crack murders, and take bribes. Phil, take bribes. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. Doesn't it sound like a Phil game to you? Dude, keep going. You're selling me. Keep going. <laughs> That's it. That's that's the end of the description. That, that's, that's all, all you got? That's all I got. That's it? No, hold, hold, on, hold, on, a city hold on, hold on, hold on. This game is really good. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's is that in the description or is that you well, no, it's got a really no, it high score on Meta- it's, got a, really it's, got, it's got a high score on metacritic or it's got like 86 man this is a good game this is a good, you're gonna love this game you're gonna be playing this game and you'll be like i can't believe i would have I, I i almost turned this game down like how foolish of me I, i'm so glad i didn't turn this game down thank you roger you have opened my eyes to a fantastic game I became a disastrous human being in this game. And I'll be like, yeah, see? And you're like, yeah, I could have been a hero, but I decided not to be. I didn't need the game for that. Well, and that's not true, Phil. That Don't don't say that. That's not true. You are a fantastic human being. Me. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what's the name of the game, Roger? Disco Elysium. Oh, shit. All right. Now you just <laughs> Hey, Phil, some... just so you know, I, I think Disco Elysium <laughs> is also on the Switch. <laughs> it is. You told me to look up yeah. Deku deals. This was a Deku. This is like Deku a Deku deal has Xbox games. Well, okay. Well, so you're gonna have to play it on the Switch because that's the one Roger what? called out. Hold on, hold on. I mean, no, that's you the version Roger called. You can play that's it on, the description. You can play it on the Xbox. I'm just saying. I don't know if it's on Game Pass though, but it well, certainly but... is uh, like eleven bucks right now. Eleven dollars. Uh, free. Yeah, like 
Okay, I'm sorry. Eleven ninety nine. It's twelve dollars. Mine's twelve dollars. Mine's free. Twelve dollars. I'll send you twelve dollars. I'll use send you twelve dollars not to get it. <laughs> <laughs> use the Switch or use the Xbox. Why? What? You can buy it on the on the Xbox. You can buy it on the Xbox. Phil. I love I how have to, I love I how have we're to trying admit. to win his his uh, approval. That's the best. At Disco Elysium, definitely. If I was a dog, my ears would have went up. It's like somebody rattling the treat box. But Roger. I'm going to have to stick with Evil West. Oh. Well, good thing, because it's not on the Xbox, actually. So. It's not on it at all? No, it's not. See, so. I gave the fake out. See? So there. That's right. That's so right. Evil West actually sounds pretty cool, too. I'm not going to lie. But I'm Disco surprised Elysium Disco, is very good. Disco I'm actually is surprised that Disco Elysium is not on the Switch. It is, it on, is the on the Switch. It's not on the Xbox. Wait, oh, Disco Elysium is not on the Xbox, so you Correct. would have been forced to play it on the Switch. Correct. That yeah, was man. that was oh. that was the rub. That's or the, the rub. PlayStation yep. Five. That's the a... PC. <laughs> I like your I like how your voice like just <laughs> but it's a, that was an, <laughs> that was great. I, I agree with you. I agree with you 100. percent By the way, I go for that. You know. What, Disco Elysium or your game? No, no, the voice when you talk about PC and PS5. Oh, yeah, PC and PS5. PS5. Well, PS5. Actually, when you talk about the Switch, you should sound like a snot-nosed kid. <laughs> uh, okay, well, Evil West, that's on Game Pass. I'll give it a game. That actually sounds pretty cool. And if you can play co-op, You, got, you can play co-op, good, yeah, actually. co-op online. How and many, it's already how, downloaded. How many? How, oh, you just downloaded it right now? Or have you downloaded it? No, I already did. Okay. I downloaded it when it Game Pass. I just haven't fired it up yet. Oh, okay. Uh, how many people can play online with that game? I think it's, I think only it's two. just two. Oh, yeah. Just two. Okay. Is this a top-down game? I didn't quite catch that. No, it's a, it's a, it's like a Gears game, like a Gears of War almost. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. Boy, enjoy congratulations, your evil congratulations, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I think now that I now that I got back to make victories, I think whatever. Let's just have Roger. You can pick the next one for him. No, 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 that's no, not how this right. works. No, no, okay. I'm going to win. I'm going to win one of these. Don't just give right. me a victory. That's bullshit, man. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next, I'm gonna... next time I'll pick Disco Elysium then. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, it's not on the Xbox, just so you know. So you're going to want to pick that game. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we'll talk about that next week. Uh, before we head out, then, why don't we tell people how they can find us on social media? And Phil, how can people find you on social media? <laughs> You can find me at BNow23 on the Twitters. And uh, Mike, how can people find you on social media? You can also find me on the Twitters at PezGuyMike. If you're interested in buying my uh, month-to-month calendar with my <laughs> various seductive poses and shoulder-licking sauce photos, <laughs> then hit me up. <laughs> that's only wait hold on hold on it's not be, wait, hold on pit me up i thought this was gonna be on a patreon no no this is my own little thing this, <laughs> well, this is my your, own little side, 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 yeah. side yeah. hustle yeah, you side said yourself hustle. roger i'm a very busy man <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true uh and listeners you can follow us on social media at gamerheads pod you can follow me at nintendo raj you can also follow us on blue sky at gamerheads podcast and threads. So I've been posting more on threads as well at Gamerheads Podcast there and Instagram at Gamerheads Podcast. Everywhere at Gamerheads Podcast. Gamerheads Podcast is everywhere. You can follow us on YouTube for goodness sake at Gamerheads Podcast. In fact, uh, you can see some of our live streams. I live streamed World of Grim this past Tuesday. Uh, you can check that out on our YouTube channel. Uh, and then go to our website to read all the articles that I've been posting about PAX East uh in our reviews and this episode and previous episodes and that's at gamerheadspodcast.com so phil thank you so much for joining us this week always and mike thank, it back. <laughs> mike thank you so much for joining us this week thanks for having me and listeners thank you so much for giving us a listen if you like what you hear we'd love to hear what you have to say about the show so uh leave us a review uh and we'll read your review on the air With that, everybody, stay safe and game on, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye. So long. Take care.